Hello and welcome back to the colony with Man of the Ants and today we are taking a quick look at Aircraft Carrier Survival. This is the prologue for the game. So the game devs did offer me a key for the game which is a little misleading because it is actually free the prologue. So if you want to take a look at this you can go on to Steam. There'll be a link in the description you can grab, grab it on Steam for free. They gave me a key so I could take a look at it before it was released as a prologue which I think was yesterday as of recording. I have been super busy with exams and babies and stuff so or just one baby not babies plural just the one baby but that keeps me busy enough so yeah i have taken a few days to get to it but it's one of those games where i saw the trailer and the beginning of the trailer i was like ah oh, it just looks like you know not a standard aircraft carrier survival game how many of them are there but it looks kind of like you know not not that sort of interesting and then it cut away and it had like a fallout shelter style view of the inside of the ship and at that point i was like oh, okay yeah no i'm in, i'm very intrigued now so we're gonna not skip the tutorial as it's weird that the default option there is to almost say yes to skip it. Um, yeah. This is how you will be represented in the campaign. You will not be able. So we're not too worried about what we look like. It'd be nice if the portrait matched what your actual character looked like, because I could have that portrait and look like that. So that would be a bit weird. Uh, we have skills, which is interesting. Uh, traits: Seamaster or Flight. Oh, I see. We want Seamaster, I think. Hard work is what. Keep Hard work is what keeps the ship moving. See, we have four relatively generic faces. I suppose we can change the hair and stuff, okay. We'll go with that one. Uh, accessory. Yep, fine. And, oh, a pipe. Yes, please. And I'm just kind of skipping through quite quickly. It's, it is a little... I want that massive coat. I don't want that one. I want that one. Yes. It is, it is a little weird that they give you the... Oh, hang on. Is that like shorts or something? Can we go back and just change to a shorter thing? <laughs> Absolutely. Shorts. Yes, please. Shorts and a long coat. Perfect. Yeah, it's a shame that you can't have that guy uh, as your character by the look of it. Anyway, as I say, it's the prologue, so I'm not going to worry too much about getting into the in-depth character creation. Welcome to Pearl Harbor. The strike group will return here after every successful mission in order to prepare for the next one. Perfect. Upgrades for the strike group can be purchased here. Every upgrade will cost upgrade points. Makes sense. Have a look through the different tabs, sir. Each one will allow you to manage a specific aspect of your strike group. Okay. So we command multiple ships. We have multiple ships in our strike group, do we? Uh, so we have points to spend. We have a dock. We have crew. The heart and soul of the aircraft carrier. Look at them all. In the full version of the game, you will be able to upgrade both your crew members and officers on this screen. It's kind of nice they've actually addressed the fact it's a prologue and the actual dialogue is specific to the prologue that's quite nice actually slots on the ship can be upgraded here sir doing so will increase the number of crew members on the carrier because we currently have eight crew despite there being like a <laughs> hundred people there the full version of the game you will also be able to yep 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 so we can increase the number of crew we can't increase the number of officers at the moment this is aircraft your power lies sir or in this case flies jokes aircraft carrier Do jokes sure they are well prepared so we can upgrade these by the look of it increase the amount of Oop. squadron slots available on your flight deck. oh i see this means that you will have more squadrons ready for orders at a given time mm -hmm. you can also upgrade each of your aircraft models improving the efficiency in battle yes so it looks like we can Upgrade this, but not the slot at the moment. On this the carrier. Side, you can purchase upgrades for various aspects of the carrier. Yep. If you wish, sir. You can give your aircraft carrier a name, by which it will be re in the demo. There is only one carrier class available. Oh, there are multiple types of aircraft carrier in the full game. That's quite interesting as well. Available for purchase. So we have some upgrades there. Uh, Yorktown or Essex. Ooh, I don't know much about aircraft carriers, so I don't know what the real difference is between them. There is strength in number. I'm assuming they're all American, though, seeing as we are based in Pearl Harbor. Carrier does not travel alone, sir. Here you can set up your naval escort. Similarly to ship upgrades, your escort has an effect on the strike group statistics. Yep. Okay. You can upgrade your escort size here. It will let you add more vessels to your. Okay, dokey. List of all the ships currently in yep. your escort. Click on them to replace them with different ones. Each, Each ship, ship type provides a different bonus. Makes sense. Once you're happy with all the upgrades and your strike group is ready to embark on a mission, click launch. Okay. So can we actually... Can't do that, no. But what can we see? Oh, we've got... Oh, lots of different things. Escort carriers. Used to send the carrier away as a decoy and change detection status to undetected. 
Supply ships, which are going to supply us, I'm guessing. Cargo ship, instantly repairs two broken squadrons. Cruisers, change the next attack against the carrier within the next three hours to target the strike group instead. Light cruiser, used to reposition the strike group to safe position, rendering any attack against it rend uh, useless for six hours. Okay, so there's quite a lot there. It's not just like a simple sort of, this is like a, a buff. There are active skills with like cooldowns and all sorts of stuff. That's quite involved. That's got a 24 hour cooldown on that one, look. And the submarine, spotting bonus, 200 miles for 30 minutes, but it has a six hour cooldown. So we've got the cargo ship, the escort carrier, and the supply ship. So it looks like we're very much going for a, a, a supply. What's the word I'm looking for? I can't, remember. I can't think of the word, it's fine. Doesn't matter, as I say, tired. <laughs> But we're not going for we're not going for offense. We're going for to buffing our uh, our carrier itself. Where oh, I was going to say where's our carrier? It's there. It's huge. How could I miss it? So we can increase the escort size there. Um, so we can't do anything to our dock. That just gives us a view, does it? What does this do? Oh, it just takes us through that. Okay, I see. Uh, so let's mm, let's do the hangar capacity. Yep, please. Uh, let's. Uh, Increase our fighter plane. Let's increase the size of our crew. Oh, we can't. We spent. Oh, it cost two points for our. Well, that's fine. Well, then we'll just go. We'll just go. So coming soon over there. For now, we have. I'm assuming this is Pearl Harbor. Oh yeah, because that's Australia. I see now. I can. I can see. The, I can see where we are now. So we have one mission available to us at the moment. An easy mission, which is the Coral Sea aftermath. The Japanese Imperial Navy has begun an operation to cut off our allies. Port Moresby and the islands near Tulagi are the key strategic points on Coral Sea. Without them, providing support to Australia and New Zealand will be nearly impossible. We must interrupt the Japanese plans at all cost. Our intelligence intercepted the message with the ex exact date and location of the invasion, but have yet to confirm their path. Your task is to destroy the invasion fleet headed for Port Moresby. Prevent Japan's advancement before they reach the shores of New Guinea. Our goal is to sink the majority of ships from the invasion fleet and disengage before their enforcements re uh, arrive. Re arrive? That's not a word. Okay. We have reached the Coral Sea, Admiral. Mm -hmm. The last scouting report confirmed. The enemy invasion fleet progressing as expected. They will approach from here, here, or straight through this location. Okay. We can count on continuous support from land based Australian scouts. Our recon has identified two harmless fleets in the area. No aircraft carriers were spotted. So we're not supposed to worry about those. Our main objective is to defend Port Moresby. Which is over here. CIC analysis. The optimal position to launch an airstrike against the invasion fleet is from Zone G7. Wow. Yeah, this is a lot more involved than I, than I anticipated. Whenever you want to find out how to operate certain functions, just press the help button. A different tutorial will be displayed depending on what you're doing. Okay. Oh, I'm going to hit the help button now. Control plane deployment and recovery. Okay. Orders to the deck is done from the deck view. If you want to add a squadron, click on the empty squadron slot. Mm -hmm. Choose a squadron type. The maximum number of squadrons on deck depends on the amount of crew units assigned to the air department in the crew okay. panel. If you want to remove a squadron from the deck, hold it and direct it to the plane elevator. You can reposition squadrons on the deck. It would be way. nice if this this sort of tutorial was like an in-game tutorial, like like you'd expect in, uh, well, like a lot of games do, I suppose, where the actual, you know, they, they you learn by doing rather than learning by watching a video. The mission must be present on the deck. The weather must be optimal. And the it must be, be I can't control the weather. There are no wrecks on the deck. Click this button to display the deck panel. Here, you can change the deck state and manage queued deck operations. The okay. Deck will be in one of two states. Okay. Recovery state, in which you will be able to recover returning squadrons when they are ready for retrieval and the strike group is positioned within the recovery area. Okie dokie. Launching state, in which you will be able to start missions. That Remember sounds the exciting part. Respot the deck. Switch between the different states. All of the aircraft on deck must be moved to the other side, which in some cases can be very time consuming. On the okay. Panel, you can rearrange the order queue by dragging and dropping order icons. Oh, I see. That's what. Right. Okay. You can right click an order icon to cancel it. The currently performed order is an exception. It cannot be cancelled or rearranged. Which makes sense. 
Wow, okay, yeah, immediately a lot more involved than I would have anticipated. I thought it'd be a bit more of a, of a like an open worldy sort of thing and you start off and you just run around and build everything up, but uh, yeah, a lot different to what I, was, uh, what I was expecting. So what are our crew doing at the moment? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, that is all of our crew. We have the eight at the moment. So we probably don't want to take everyone out of any of these, do we? So we'll leave them there, if that makes sense. Uh, what do I do? <laughs> what do I do? Tell me all about the deck, but about nothing else. I guess we'll get the uh, fighter planes out. Issue a fighter squadron on the deck. And the torpedo bombers. And we can just keep going? Wow, I thought I could only have two, because I've only got two people there. But okay, we've just, it just went, carried on going, so I just carried on clicking. I didn't really know what I was doing. <laughs> Oh, there's our planes. Getting pushed back, look. Lovely. So we actually have... Um... Can I not click those until they're out? No, I can't click them until they're out. They should probably... I should probably put in fighters out first. That's probably a bit of a mistake. Um, am I moving? Am I in G7? How do I know where I am? Is there a map? Your strike group is idling in place. Okay. Okay. The deck is where you will control. No, that's still the deck. Um, oh, that's where we can see the different. Oh, see, this is the view that I saw, which I was very excited about. You can see all this. So I'm guessing you can't actually do. I see that. I thought you'd be sort of building this up again, like sort of Fallout Shelter. And sort of opening new rooms and unlocking new stuff and maybe researching more stuff. That's what I was anticipating. But I do love this view. Actually seeing everything moving from the inside looks amazing. Uh, so we've got sections. We have island. Oh, hello. Oh, I see. One, two, three, four. I, I was pressing one and two, three, four to try and... Uh... Oh, no. No, stay stay where you are. I don't... I don't. Yeah, no, I don't know. Stay there. <laughs> Got no idea. Um, and then we have one more, which is oh, just like a free view, so we can just see everything. And there's our little strike. Was it the strike crew? I don't know. A little support squad. And there's our escort carrier. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Um, so, Issue oh, torpedo bomber squadron on the deck. Destroy the invasion fleet before it reaches the port. Reach G seven for a tactical advantage. Where are we? Is this us? Can we just go to G7, which is what here? Yeah, go there, please. And our fleet are already going there with us. Okay, perfect. Uh, job done then, right? Oh, I don't know what that did. I clicked it and uh, I, well, I don't know what happened. But we are now moving. Oh, all that's gone now. I assume that's how I do stuff. <laughs> I don't know how to get back to that. So that cycles through that. Escort click to open. So that's how we use our abilities. This is the deck management. We want to be in launch mode. There's the map. Carrier speed. Uh, full, please. Why can I not click full? Why can I not click full? Or oh, insufficient crew to go full speed. Oh, okay, fine. Crew management we've seen, and then objectives, okay. We already know the objectives, so I guess we shall just... Wait until we get to the uh, to G7, right? Can I zoom in the map? I can't zoom in the map, I can't move the map, the map is what it is. So we're ignoring, these are the two enemy fleets which don't have anything for us to concern ourselves with, isn't it? I don't know what these little areas are. My function repair, deflooding, Sir. officers, scouting, carriers, carriers cap. Yeah, all sorts of stuff I don't really understand at the moment. All sorts of stuff I don't really understand. What does this do? Nothing. Okay. Should we see the help for this? I wish you could just... I also do wish there was just a way you could skip through this rather than have to watch the whole video so it had like uh, little chapters or just a way to skip through the text. Oh, it's weather. 
To do so, click on your fleet and then on the map to set a waypoint. You can drag and drop placed waypoints to alter the course. Mm -hmm. Ah, it doesn't change the subtitles as you scroll. Make it harder for enemies to detect your fleet. Oh? While under a storm cloud, your fleet is undetectable for two hours. Sounds like it could be useful. Objects represented as question marks on the tactical map. Hover over the question mark to see. So maybe then, also that guy's going away from us. How would I? How do I remove? There we go. So if I say like go down here. And then go up there. Because we've got plenty of time, right? And if we speed time up. And we may as well, for the moment then, put an extra person in our navigation department so we can go to full speed, right? Oh, no, we still can't go to full speed. Oh, because he's, he's walking there. Oh, I see. Still, so you have to wait for them to get there. That's interesting. He's there now, so now we can go full speed. Whoop. Uh, in the meantime, there we go. Let's get rid of those and bring out some more fighter planes. The carrier is being attacked by a sub. Hold up! What? I don't know why I'm looking. I can only see the submarine. I don't know what I can do about that. Can I do anything about that? Can I do anything about that? There's all sorts of things around now, look. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to do about it. I'm just, okay, we'll just move on. Tactical Mac updated with what? With this this storm cloud? Oh, you can see the storm clouds moving. I don't know why I'm so surprised by that. But you can see the storm clouds moving. So that submarine's still following us. I don't know. What do I do? What do I do about that? Not enough planes on the deck. All right, hold up. And why has it got a cooldown of minus four hours? I can't get more planes, can I? Because I don't have enough crew there. Or well, maybe I do. Issue a torpedo bomber squadron on the deck. Or is that the amount of time I have to do that, perhaps? Why not start moving the other ones straight away? Why wait for them all to be out? Oh, I need two. I see. I need two, um, whatever they are. So I would need to remove those. Is that, is that not far enough? Because that's the wrong sort, I think, isn't it? Move the torpedo bomber squadron back to the hangar. And those. You could be moving those at the same time. Why are you so inefficient? Move the fighter squadron back to the hangar. And then we want... It is torpedoes we want as well. Or no, it's dive bombers we want, isn't it? I think we already have one set of dive bombers out, actually. Or no, they're torpedoes, aren't they? They're dive bombers. So we do have one set of dive bombers out. So if we've got just two, do they need to be in order? Or just just having them out in any anywhere? Is that enough? Issue a dive bomber squadron on the deck. Start engine. <gasps> so you gonna you gonna do something? Yeah, they're getting in the planes. Awesome. Awesome. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, you take off from there. Now 
And do they have to move all the other things out of the way to get the other ones out? So we should have had... Um, we should, like, if we knew, we could have been more prepared and had the, had the dive bombs out straight away. Oh, they just moved one out to get the rest around, and that's not too bad. They do move it absolutely miles away, though. What's this? What's new? What are you showing me? I've got no idea, but thanks. So I think we should be able to bring out one other thing, shouldn't we? Should we bring out some... Oh, I don't know what we should do, actually. What do we have? Fighters. Torpedoes. And we've got... Two, uh, two dive bombers. So let's get another torpedo out, yeah? Because then we've got two of each. Where are my, uh... Do not, do not get to see them fight. Oh, and I need to put them back into, like, the recovery mode, don't I? To get them back. Which was, uh, yeah, this. I had to change, I have to change the state, won't I? Clear the flight deck. A plane is approaching landing. I mean, it's got 45 minutes, but I don't think we're going to be attacked before then, are we? So let's get that ready. I have to put everything on. It moves everything to the other side, I see. Where are we on the map? But we're getting down towards these, actually. So somewhere, yeah, I was going to say. The submarine has been destroyed. Wonderful. And then they take an hour to return. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, oh, where's my mouse? Right, go normal speed. Okay, go into launch mode. And I need two fighters to do this, so I'll have enough fighters to launch them. Section below deck has malfunctioned. Have a DC team transport to the infirmary. What happened? What happened, and what's damaged? Ready. Awaiting orders. Okay. Uh, so how do I how do I do that? Do I just drag? Do I just click and drag? Ready. Yes, sir. I do. Perfect. You're going to go over there. Excellent. Uh, we are going into launch mode. We are in launch mode, so we can now do this. Stand by to start engine. It's a bit of a shame that you can't see the planes or anything. Like the enemy planes. So they should be like just over there somewhere, right? Crew needs medical attention. So now I need to send him. The guy who's in the medical department needs medical attention. Wonderful. So let's add someone else to the medical department. So they're not going to get healed, I guess, are they? You pain in the behind. Something was updated over here, but we don't know what. And we've seen enemy scouts. So that's fine. We're taking care of that. Uh, report out of date. Oh, see, so there was someone there, but we were so long ago we don't know if they're actually there anymore. So we're going to continue heading to G7, which is here, obviously. Obviously. Damage control is doing his thing. Can we see where damage control is? He is down there doing his damage control thing. Excellent. Is it now fixed, this area? Yeah, so if I move him back to like... On your command. Sort of the middle. On our way. That'll hopefully help that. We only have 46% fuel. We need to replenish for the resupply. How much do we resupply? Hang on, sorry, where was that? 
bottom left panel. Oh, I see. Carrier stops moving. Oh, so we should probably get to G7, I'd have thought, though, wouldn't we? So let's do that. Um, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to do that. So how do we know... So we had our other planes due to come back. How do we know when they're due back? If, uh... If all we can see is that. Or do we just lose them because we weren't ready? We spot the deck. Prepare for recovery. Enemy scouts were destroyed. Wonderful. Why did we come down here? So did we just lose our planes then? Because we weren't ready to take them back again. Because that seems crazy. That seems crazy. So our other plane should be coming back now, should they? I assumed they should, but I don't see anyone. How do I recover my... So what's this? Oh, I've missed it. Something was updated here, but I don't know what it was, so let's not worry about it. If you can hear that beeping, that's my headphones running out of battery. I'm trying to surreptitiously get them plugged in. How do I recover my planes? How do I recover my... I can't see anything obvious. And you thought it would... I'm in recovery mode. Um... I don't know. I was in recovery mode by the time that one was ready to come back. But I don't know. Welcome, Admiral. Good to see you in command. This is your air uh, carrier in all its glory. It is the deck is where you will control plane defects. Remember that in order to respot the deck, switch it on move to the other by dragging and drop you on the camera. Yeah, it doesn't really give us much information there, does it? I don't know where it would be in the help. Um, I don't know. Are they just lost forever? Is that how it works? That seems crazy. Oh, how is that crew member? Is he now uh, healed? Yes. Put you back in navigation so we can uh, go back to full speed in a moment when you get there. Guess we'll just speed time up and then. Or do you? Do they automatically get go go on and go downstairs? Did I just miss them? A new enemy spotted. So we have a Hayaken defensive fleet over here, pretty much on an intercept course for course for us as well. Um, I guess we'll just carry on going and just hope nothing happens for it. They're not on our radar as of yet. But let's get us back in launch mode, I suppose. I don't know. I suppose we should get more planes out, right? What have we got there? Yeah, and we've got no fighters because our fighters disappeared. I don't understand how that works. So let's get, what did I say they were? So let's get uh, two dive bombers and then another fighter. Issue a dive bomber squadron on the deck. Issue a dive bomber squadron on the deck. 
Issue a fighter squadron on the deck. There is a fire below deck. So How did that happen? Control is needed. <laughs> How did, how did a fire just start? Uh, damage control person. Yeah, go and deal with that fire, please. Because for some reason, there's a fire. Triple time, if you don't mind, because the, the fire spread in. I mean, did we get attacked by something, or did we just catch on fire randomly? What is the room? It's the pilot section. It's the pilot section just caught on fire. Ready, on our way. Okay, uh, let's move him back towards the uh, the crew compartment, which was there, I think. Just in case you know, there's another fire. So it looks like, well, that one looks like it should be right on top of us, to be honest. Yeah, I cannot see anything. Unless it's them. But I'm assuming that's our escort. Oh, can I go full speed now? Oh, hold on. Another enemy detected over here. Another defensive fleet with all sorts of things. Submarines and everything. I suppose learning what you'd need to attack each of them would be something you'd need to actually sort of figure out, wouldn't it? Let's go full speed. We're down to 20% fuel, but we're almost there. And then we get there. I suppose you're supposed to go around and actually uh, look into these things. I wonder if there's a way when you get there of speeding time up so you can uh, just get to the invasion time. Or were we supposed to spend more time exploring the area, perhaps? I don't know. I don't know. Eighteen percent fuel. I want to try and get there. Cause we need to stop before we do anything. And I think we're going to get there. I think we'll be okay. We are in G seven now, aren't we? Yes. We are on low supply, so that's fine. What's that? What's that? What's that? What are you updated with? Has been completed, sir. Excellent. We have reached G7. Perfect. With 30 hours to spare. Now, I'm going to let him go a little bit more so he's sort of a bit more central to G7. Keeping an eye on our supplies a little bit. Do they just stop when they get to the, uh, the middle? Their, their marker? Do they stop automatically? Or once they get there, would they just carry on going straight? Well, it looks like he's stopped. Yeah, we've reached the marker. The marker's disappeared, but we're still on full. So we'll head down to dead slow. We will put one of these in the air department. What was that? Your strike group is idling in place. Yeah? Is that... Why not? What should I do? Let's resupply. We can't move for that anyway, so we may as well stay there. And then maybe we'll just sort of go around G7 if we need to do something. If I tell them to do it now, what happens? And I've got a resupply in progress. Oh, it actually counts for most duties. It's not just the... Uh, is this the resupply ship coming in? That's kind of cool. Oh yeah, they're like throwing little uh, little ropes for to send the supplies over. Oh, I like that. That's cool. It still looks like it's got the like the wave markers to show like yeah like the waves breaking on the bow, which is a little odd. As we're not going anywhere at the moment. Right, let's just speed everything up. And then I'm, I'm considering just uh, just standing there. 
I know it's idle in place. I don't see why that matters, to be honest. I don't see why that matters. We have resupplied. Oh, we haven't resupplied yet. We're still resupplying. Okay. Even though it's disappeared, we have res we. Also, suppose we're doing the internal bits, are we? So, are you supplies just standing in place? Current order expired. What does that mean? Oh, this one down here, right. I don't really want to do... Um, I suppose we can do some of this, can we? Can we be deployed at night? So, no, we can't. Nothing can be deployed at night. So, we'll just... Uh do this one for a couple of hours. I know it's idling. I don't see the point of moving. We're in a defensive position, right? The carrier is under attack. From lots of things. Okay, we want to do something about that. What do we do? It hasn't popped up like a little red thing just saying, oh, you can click on this to, uh, to attack them. Identify targets, recon, recon. I don't want to scout. I don't want to do... I suppose I want that. Launch aircraft. Did I queue up two? Yeah, I think so. I don't know if I can get off of this... Uh, off of this now. What's this? Island in place, yes. I don't know where they came from. Wouldn't be either of those. It must be uh, must be something else that's coming towards us. How do I get back to the? How do I get back to the view of the enemy? So would I see them get attacked if I was still in that view? Oh, I see, because I said to do another, um, another thing, but we can't. But I can now add some more fighters. And then do another, um, carrier's cap. Yeah, because they're all bombers. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Right, and then uh, carrier's cap. Launch. Start engines. Go, go, go. How do I click that? I do. They look like they're relatively close, but they can't see anything yet. So if both of these out, they're going to get for about seven hours. There should be enough time for them to... Uh, I know we're idling. I don't see if we need to move. I don't need to worry about any of that either. Let's... I can't because we've only got one each, so I can only do one of those. Let's do that one again then. I guess, uh, oh, now I can do this. Now I need more. Well, let's slow them down. Now that they got close enough. Issue a fighter squadron on the deck. And while that's going, what did this say? Oh, if there's one or two, I see. It depends how many are in there. He allows setting of waypoints. Why is that two? Because he's just a better captain. Two recon missions. Boost efficiency in deck and damage control. I think that all sounds fine. I don't think we need to worry about changing that, do we? Uh, are both of these out? Not quite. If I say launch... Oh, look, we're attacking! Oh. While to repair it. So best to send DC teams right away. Okay. 
Oh, we only have one DC team, so maybe we should put um, another one in there. And it hasn't, is that because it's paused? Yeah. And now I can't pause it anymore, but okay. So let's yes, go over here. Well, there's all sorts of stuff going on, actually. It's just destroyed. Oh, the ammo supply. Maybe we should have gone for the ammo supply first. How is that guy still making his way down there? Do we need anyone in navigation? Maybe we should put everyone in. in. Maybe we should have three in damage control. I'm assuming if there are three people in there, you can control them separately. I'm assuming. Right, one of them has got there at least. Yeah, so now we have him. So let's move him over here. They move so slowly. They move so slowly. What is this? Submarine hunt. Oh, then yeah, do that as well. Stand by to start engine. And we have another. Oh my word, we are filling up. Impossible, sir. Is it? So what do I do about that? On your Get command, in. sir. Ready. Got no idea. In fact, no. You head over there then. I don't know what I do about the flooded rooms. Like it has this option down here for deflooding, but I can't click it. Sir, the engine section is shut down. Without it, you will only be able to travel at dead slow pace. What's we'll the? Is this the engine? Aircraft workshop. Where's the... Is this the engine? Yep. I don't know how I unflood them. I don't know where... Oh, the pumps. Where has damage control in there? On your command. Let's have you yes, down there then. Ready. You can go there. Has shut down due to damage. Yeah, all right, I'm working on it. I am working on it. You're done there, so you head over to this place, which is still on fire. Enemy scouts have been destroyed. Perfect. So now, do we need to go into... Recovery mode straight away. Let's do it so we're ready for it. Right, so you are fixing the pumps, or do you need to be in there for that to work? You need to be in there for that to work, I think. I have to tell you which ones to uh, deflood. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, you head there. No, so it's looking okay. What does this mean? Awaiting orders. Allows using the malfunction button. Oh, I see. Is there anything else? Start deflooding everything else. So I'm just going to leave you in there then. And then I'm going to hit that. And then you just do stuff remotely. Don't know. Don't know. Let's ignore it for the moment. Yes, I know I'm still idling in the place. What is all this? Uh, damage control. We know that. Yep, we know that. Yep, we know that. Yep, we know that. Yes, yes, yes. Just get rid of all of them. Uh, right, and then start deflooding the engine rooms, I suppose. Would be lovely. And you just move back kind of central again. You stay there. Yes, we'll leave one in there. We'll leave one in the uh, the, the deflooding area. It's a shame you don't get to see your, your carrier actually getting attacked. So 
So it says time to return there is three minutes. Uh, some, let's actually let's resupply. Let's make sure we're topped up. Well, then you have to save retrieve when you're in. Oh, I see. Admiral, we're taking water. I know. I am. Oh. It's not talking about somewhere else, is it? No, we're okay. And we can retrieve those as well. They're, they're good to come back. Or not yet. Okay. Well, there they are coming back in. Look, lovely. So we actually managed to retrieve our planes now. We know how to do that. Maybe it would have been a useful thing to have prior to this. Speed up up a bit. So that's almost gone. And we'll just do that one as well. And we should now have everything back operational. Yes, we're still idling in place. That's fine. That's fine. Sir, one of the landing planes has crashed on deck. You must use damage okay. control to push it into the water. Into the water? So how do I how do I do that? Awaiting orders. I don't know. I don't know how I do that. I can't click on it. Do I do this? Nope. On your command. I don't understand how I get him. Yes, sir. Oh, there we go. You click on that. There we go. Okay. So we have retrieved all of our planes as well. So let's. Uh, what are we doing? Put it back into launch mode. Oh, we can't yet. Okay, right. <laughs> that makes sense. There they are. Oh, and it's gone. Okay, excellent. Now we can put it into launch mode. So where does that leave? Just, a, just goes to the lockers. Just hangs out there, does he? Let's move him back quite centrally again. Just so he's ready to go. So we have another enemy squad incoming. Is that still going? How do I... It just says repaired in, so that's because I've got someone in, in somewhere, I guess in here, right? So they automatically do it. Okay, then they just get repaired automatically? I'm not sure. You still ill? I don't know, are you? Don't, I think you're okay, I think you're okay. So uh, why has it paused? Or do we take the enemy planes out as is? I put the two of them in cap and I had more brought out ready to uh, ready to attack, but I guess we don't need them. So in that case, let's go back into recovery mode. Speed over that. And then we will uh, retrieve there is a fire below deck. both of these, and then there's a fire. On your command. Aye, aye. Off you go. Speed everything up. I don't need to tell them to repair stuff, do I? No, I don't think so. Do I need to put someone from there? Sir, one of the landing planes has crashed on deck. Oh, okay, of course you, you are. Use damage control to push it into the water. Where is it? There it is. Yes, sir. So where would I... Do I need to move them to, to repair stuff? Like to repair the planes? Allows a sign and crew to the engineering department. So I don't think so. I think they're just doing it. Okay. Let's improve our visibi visibility even. New enemy has been found. I guess this one here, which is hiding in the storm, is it? 
And now that you're done, you can come back to the crew. Oh, Who's this? Ready. Oh, you're not in the pumps. Let's go back to the pumps. So we only have seven hours left until the attack's supposed to happen. So we should be... We can't be deployed at night. So we can't do anything about that. Uh, are we still in... Yes, we need to go back to uh, launch mode. And then what do we have at the moment? Two fighters, two dice. So let's bring out two torpedoes just in case. Oh, we have two of them incoming now. This 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 isn't that the actual fleet though, I think, is it? We'll just see what happens with that, I guess. We'll just see what happens. They looked remarkably close, but I don't think they're actually repaired in at 30 minutes, which would be lovely. That'd be lovely. These missions take a while, don't they? They take a while. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to spend quite this long on a single mission. So you should almost be repaired. Oh, no, if you do one at a time, I see. I see. They're basically on top of us. I'm not currently doing my uh, crew visibility. Let's do that. 2.40 in the morning, so things should be lightening up in the next couple of hours. Just in time for the invasion to... Uh... Have I missed them? Because this will attack them in two hours. The port is there. I assumed that being here, I would, I would see them coming in. But maybe... Maybe not. Maybe they've snuck past me over here. And I'm actually going to lose the mission. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it keeps updating. They are just right on top of me now. I do have the actual visibility on, so I should be able to see something if it arrives. I kind of wish there was an even faster time option. Yes, I'm still idling in place. Yes, I am. I don't know why I clicked it. I am still idling in place. We now have two enemy fleets right on top of us. But, uh... Yeah, can't see them. I don't know that you can see them. Let's do that again. I'm not going to keep clicking on the map. It doesn't give me any information. Oh no, they just attacked it. Okay. <laughs> I did manage to miss them. I don't know... I obviously don't understand very well how the game works then, do I? Somehow you were supposed to... I had like the extra range thing on. I couldn't do recon because it was night. Wow, yeah. Interesting. A lot different to what I was expecting. A lot more tactical. A lot more going on per mission. Like I say, I was kind of expecting like a... Like an open world, upgrade your carrier as you go sort of thing. Not open world, maybe, but uh, you know what I mean. But yeah, interesting. Really interesting game. Yeah. Yeah, not what I was expecting, but still interesting and fun. I'd like I'd like a better tutorial. So if the devs do ever watch this video, I'd I'd, I'd like a better tu like a tutorial mission that is a bit easier, perhaps a little bit or a bit a bit more obvious that uh, you don't fail fail for doing what it says by going to the optional objective <laughs> and then just sitting there. Um, but yeah, and a tutorial where you learn as you play rather than having to watch videos, I think, would always be a, a preference for any game. Not just something like this, but for any game, really. Anyway, going to leave that there, then, because that took me significantly longer than I thought. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, do hit that like button. Leave a comment, subscribe, all those good things. Don't forget to stream every Wednesday at 7pm UK time. I will hopefully see you there. Otherwise, I will see you next time in some other magical adventure. And as always, thank you very much for joining me.